Hey comrades, Drewski here. I'm proud of being an American, but nothing screams into the heart of a true patriot. But do I say, baby? What's going on, comrades? Drewski here, back for yet another toasty review. And this time, we're doing a Mountain Dew flavor, which we all know Mountain Dew is notorious for releasing the same flavor all over again, repackaging it, and putting all these different flavors out. So today, I'm here to try Mountain Dew Dew SA, which is coming out, I'm guessing, in preparation for Independence Day. And what it is, is it is three flavors combined of Mountain Dew, Code Red, Whiteout, and Voltage. And as you can see here, the bottle, I have a bottle for visual example, it's purple. Let's give it a try, because we all know America loves Mountain Dew. And of course, I'm up here. Fizzy, like any soda would be. Smells extremely, extremely sweet. Um, 27 grams of sugar. That's kind of a lot for 12 fluid ounces, but let's do it. Uh. All right, wait, I gotta hit that one more time. Okay, so it's just, it's game fuel. All it is is game fuel, but they tweak the flavor a little bit. Like, you know the berry, like the like the blueberry game fuel or whatever it is. That's all it is. I I'm curious and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this. I'll follow up this video with me actually getting code red, white out, and voltage and mixing it together to prove that maybe I'm wrong. But or maybe all along that's what game fuel is and they're just repackaging it. But nah. Fourth of July, my ass. This tastes like a bomb pop. Nah. This tastes like game fuel. Like I said. Mountain Dew is always just releasing the same damn... So they're like McDonald's or like a shitty fast food restaurant. Let's just take the same five ingredients, whip it together, and call it something new. And in this case, it's high fructose corn syrup, concentrated cancer, a little bit of asbestos, and uh, pan sack ginger root. I don't like this, as you can probably tell. Um, I usually don't get pissed off in toasty reviews, but this really has me disappointed. Um, I'm not going to drink that. Would I recommend it? If you like Mountain Dew, I'd say go out there and give it a try. I got this bottle at uh, Woodman's, my local grocery store, for like $1.59 or something. Uh, expect to see it more closer to the summer and 4th of July season. But from your man, Drewski, that, I mean, I drink a lot of stuff. For sodas, all right, one more time. Nah, as the kids say, nah, B, this ain't going. I don't like this flavor, and if I was to give it a toasty rating, it's probably like a to toasty. It's like a two out of five, honestly. I don't even really like Mountain Dew, but I'll tell you what, Code Red is fucking amazing, and regular Mountain Dew is, eh, it's all right, but in voltage, I mean... If I have a specific taste for that, then I'll, I'll purchase, you know, a bottle of that. But do I say, nah, man, I don't want to try it ever again. So two out of five toasties from Drew. I don't know. I'll follow up this video shortly. Look for a video coming up in, within the next month or so. I'll find all three of those sodas and combine them. But until then, I'll catch you next time. We'll do the comparison. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for another Toasty Review. Thank you, comrades. Peace.